In this transpiration lab, we're gonna measure the rate of water loss by these plants by their transpiration through their stomata. On the undersides of these leaves, we know that there's little openings by which, little pores by which water transpires through. And that evaporation through those pores pulls water by bulk flow from the roots all the way to the leaves. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure this rate of transpiration by measuring the water loss or the loss of mass over time by putting these plants into different environmental conditions, okay? And so in order to do that, we're gonna have to bag these plants. Now these plants are coleus, and coleus are shade growing plants, and we've grown them in our lab for this purpose, okay? And I tried to pick plants that had about the same colors. Now if you notice, this one is a little bit lighter. Now, if you notice being a little lighter, does this photosynthesize more? So we're gonna take this one out, but the rest of the remaining plants have about the same color. And again, we're guessing here a little bit, have about the same um, amount of surface area of leaves. They're about the same size. So we're gonna use four of these plants, okay? We're trying to measure the rate of uh, transpiration under three conditions. Those conditions, of course, will be uh, 24 hour darkness, we'll do under uh, wind, and we'll do the last one under 24 hour light. And so essentially those are our variables that we're gonna test in order to see which of those three variables uh, affects transpiration the greatest or the least. And keep in mind, since transpiration is regulated by our stomata, okay, those guard cells that open and close, this lab is really about measuring how those guard cells work in these what we call C3 plants, okay? Any case, now if we're gonna measure the rate of water loss, we're gonna make sure, we have to make sure that the water doesn't evaporate, okay, from the top of the plant, so we're gonna have to bag these, okay? So I've got four plants, one being controlled, that control is gonna be under 12 hour light. Now we need to bag the plants, okay? And again, Again, the idea here is to make sure that there's no evaporation, okay, that occurs here. We're trying to make sure that all the evaporation, or at least in this case, transpiration occurs from the top. So just taking a um, very simple oh, one-gallon bag, okay, and I'm just going to cut the top off because I really don't need the top. And also, I did make sure that I really saturated every one of the plants uh, before I started, meaning I really watered them really good. So they're not starting out in a um, dry or flaccid condition. They're all very turgid. So I'm putting the plant in a bag. Okay, and you can see what I'm doing here. Now, what I'm gonna do is take a rubber band and I'm gonna gently try to take this extra plastic, kind of stuff it in, plant and I might lose some lower leaves but that's okay okay so I'm just basically taking this and I'm making sure that all this plastic here is gently pushed into the plant again I do not want to have any of the soil exposed to the air I don't want any evaporation any loss of water would be just due to of course the water through the leaves or is the stomata here. So now I'm just gonna put a rubber band gently, gently. I don't wanna break the stalk. Okay, that's important. So I'm just gonna put this rubber band lightly. I'm gonna twist once, okay. And go around the end. And we wanna be careful not to hurt our little, our friends. And that, I think, is going to be tight enough to do what we need to do. And we'll do that for the other three. So again, the whole idea is to just make sure there's no evaporation. And we'll do that three more times. This being my control and one of the tests, it doesn't matter. So we'll do that three more times. So we have our 
four bag plants. Okay, and now we just need to now mass them out. All right, let's label our plants. This is gonna be the control. And let's go mass out our control, which will be under 12 hour light. Okay, and then let's go measure our other plants that will be under different uh, different variables, different conditions. And so we've got our 24 hour light. Okay. And then we're gonna be label this one. The wind. Twelve hour light with wind. And then this one. And this is going to be twenty four hour darkness. And now we need to put them in their different conditions.